So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So you know how A Quiet Place was a huge success? Did you bring John Krasinski here? Get that smirking SOB in here. Jimbo! Oh, uh, sorry, sir, no, John Krasinski isn't here. Oh, that's a huge bummer. Sorry, sir, but I did find this book we can adapt that's in the same vein as A Quiet Place. Uh, that did make money, I'm listening. Right, so instead of not being able to make noise or monsters will kill you, now if you look at the monsters, they'll kill you. Oh, yeah, that is in the same vein, but it's not that similar. Also, one of the main characters is pregnant. Oh, okay. And the characters adapt a house in a way that helps them survive. Oh, they do. And having a disability in this world is actually kind of an advantage. Right. And things do not work out for the father figure. Okay, maybe stop telling me all the similarities now. Oh, okay. Thanks. The less I know, the better when this ends up going to court. That's smart. So what's the movie called? Is it something about not seeing? Like, The Blind Side or something? No, that's not the title. That's already a movie with Sandra Bullock. Hey, you know what? I just had an idea of who we can cast in this movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Mal. Malkovich. Why did the blind side make you think of John Malkovich? I didn't say the blind side made me think of him. He's a great actor. I think about him a lot. Fair enough. So what is the movie called? Bird Box. Oh, bird boxing is tight. I've made a lot of money betting on that. If you're talking about cockfighting, I'm pretty sure that's a felony. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie, you're probably going to jail. Yeah, sure sounds that way. Dang it. Anyway, so in the movie, we learn pretty quickly that if you look at these monsters, you instantly kill yourself. Oh, that's fatal. Yeah, and so we're gonna follow this pregnant lady, Mallory, into a house with a bunch of other survivors. The monsters can't go indoors? Nope. How come? Because. That works. And so we're gonna intercut these scenes in the house with scenes in the future where Mallory and two kids are the only ones left alive. Doesn't that kind of spoil that everyone's gonna die? Yeah, but non-linear storytelling is like a thing that movies do sometimes. But in this case, we're gonna have a hard time getting attached to the characters immediately knowing that they're gonna die. Yeah, it's just a thing that movies do sometimes. Don't worry about it too much. Well, okay then. Anyway, so the guy whose house they're staying in has the idea to try to look at the monsters through security cameras. Oh, that's pretty smart. Yeah, and so they all tie him to a chair in front of a screen and leave the room. Oh, and they wait just outside the door in case he needs help? No, they just kind of go about their business, and so yeah, he dies. Oh my god. And eventually the gang is gonna run out of food, so they're gonna black out the windows of a car and use the navigation system to get to a supermarket. Oh, that's pretty smart too. Yeah, and Mallory's gonna find a cage full of birds. You know how supermarkets always have live birds for sale? Of course, how else would they fill up the egg section? So then they're gonna figure out that birds go crazy when monsters are nearby. Is that helpful to know? Yeah, and this way she could carry around a box with birds in it and know when the monsters are close. Doesn't she just always keep her eyes closed outside, though? Of course, she even has a blindfold. So I don't understand why she needs a bird box. Do the monsters physically attack them, too? No, it's just if you look at them, you kill yourself. So so if the bird chirps, they, they, they close their eyes extra tight, I guess. I guess that's helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess the survivors decide to live in the supermarket then? Well, this mean guy Douglas suggests that, but Mallory's like, no, we're going back to the house. We left some people there. Well, why don't they do a couple of back and forths and try to bring everyone to the supermarket? Well, they're gonna find out that there's a crazy guy locked in the garage, so you know, it's not safe there. I mean, if he's locked in there, all they have to do is not open that door. It's still a great place to live. I mean, he'd bang on the door the whole time, though. Oh, okay, that place is not an option anymore. Exactly, that'd be super annoying. So how is this guy crazy, exactly? Oh, well, it turns out that the monsters don't make criminally insane people kill themselves. Instead, they try to show other people the monsters. Oh, they do? Yeah, because crazy people People can't go crazy. They're already crazy. I feel like using people with mental health issues as bad guys in the movie might be a little problematic and insensitive. Oh no, it's okay. One of my best friends has mental health issues and he says I can make these kind of jokes. That's definitely not how that works. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. Anyway, so the gang's gonna accidentally let a crazy guy into the house. Oh boy. Yeah, and when Mallory and this other pregnant lady, Olympia, give birth, he's gonna go on a rampage. How long of a rampage are we talking? Like five minutes or so. That's how long it takes to give birth, right? Yeah, about five minutes. So then everybody's dead except Mallory and two babies and this guy Tom. Wow. And then five years go by. What happens in those five years? Nothing. Don't any crazy people manage to find their house in five years? I guess not. Isn't it painfully obvious which houses have survivors in them seeing as the windows are boarded up? Yeah, you'd think so, but no, everything works out. Well, okay then. But then on a supply run, some crazy people find them and kill Tom. Oh, that's too bad. So then Mallory takes the kids on a river for two days because someone on a walkie-talkie said there was a safe house. Oh, interesting. But the guy also said when they get to these rapids, one of them's gonna have to take their blindfold off. Wait, what? Yeah, because the rapids are too dangerous. One of them has to navigate. If the rapids are so dangerous, shouldn't they get out during that section? Well, no, because a crazy person might find them. Well, then they could jump in the water, but that's definitely not a good first option. Well, it's gonna be their first and only option. What if the person that takes off their blindfold instantly sees the monster? Then they're all dead. Yeah, that's a good point, but Mallory's gonna end up deciding that none of them are taking their blindfolds off. What? Yeah, she was gonna make the little girl do it, but then she's like, nah, it's 
fine, let's just go. Well, it's gonna be impossible for them to get down the rapids blindfolded. Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, the boat flips over into the freezing water, but they're all fine. How do the kids even know how to swim? Well, swimming isn't that hard, and jumping into freezing cold rapids is a great way to learn. Oh, it is. That's how my brother and I were taught when we were young. And, and that worked out okay? Yeah, I mean, my brother is still swimming to this day. I never saw him again. Oh my god. What's up? I mean, I mean, I think your brother may have drowned. What, what are you talking about? Hello? Hey, Brian, you didn't drown when we were kids, did you? What? No, I'm swimming. Yeah, that's what I told this producer guy. He said you drowned. Yeah, no, I just love swimming. Wow, I'm sorry. I just assumed the worst. That's okay. So yeah, back to the movie. Even the birds are gonna survive. Everything is just gonna work out. Wait, they had a bird box with them? Of course, that's the name of the movie. Can birds survive underwater or something? I don't know. Fair enough. And how does the movie end? Well, they're gonna split up for no reason, run away from the wind a little bit, and then find a sanctuary for the blind. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and the sanctuary has a ton of birds, so they're always gonna know when the monsters are there. Feels like the crazy people are still a very real threat, though. Yeah, everything works out. Well, okay then. Oh yeah, and Mallory's been calling the kids boy and girl the whole time, so now she's gonna tell them their names are Tom and Olympia. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, kind of. I mean, Olympia made it pretty clear she wanted her daughter to be named after a Disney princess. Oh, that's actually kind of mean then. Kind of. So what do these monster things look like anyway? Oh, well, they look different to everybody, but to Mallory, they're gonna look like a giant weird baby. What? Yeah, pretty scary scary, right? I mean, no, that sounds silly looking. Well, let's just make it, and if we don't like it, we'll cut it out. We're not gonna like it. Let's just design it, though, and see. Okay, let's just hope the concept art doesn't leak. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. We have a lot more of these on the channel that you can check out. You could also let me know in the comment section what other movies you'd like to see these pitches for. Don't forget to like, and comment, and share, and subscribe. And as always, check back soon for a new one. Bye-bye.